the Canon 300mm f 2.8L IS2 USM lens and its brother lens, the 400mm f 2.8L IS2 USM, are really designed for sports and wildlife photographers. The reason these new lenses have been introduced is really to deliver better performance and better quality. It meets a lot of the requests we've had from professional photographers over the years of our existing products and really takes our these super telephoto lenses into the next generation. The new lenses replace the old 300mm and 400mm models and they offer increased optical performance, better autofocus and with it they bring a significant reduction in weight and in size to some extent. The weight saving on the 400mm lens is particularly remarkable and it's equivalent to almost the weight of a 70-200 f2.8L IS2 USM lens. The new lenses have a new IS system. This one features three selectable IS modes. Mode 1 is the same as the IS Mode 1 on other lenses from Canon's range. Mode 2 uses a slightly improved algorithm such that when you're panning with, him, with your subject, you don't get the initial jerk when you first make the move. The lens takes it up much more smoothly, so you don't get a disturbance in the viewfinder and lose, quick for a moment, the sight of your subject. Mode 3 is a new mode for these lenses. And what this does is that if you're working, say, in an athletics environment where you're needing to recompose your subject and move from subject A to subject B quite regularly and quite quickly, the IS actually only operates when you're taking pictures rather than just when you're half pressing on the shutter. What this means is that your view is completely linked to the lens, so there's no IS assembly catching up with you or stabilizing your viewfinder. It's good in the respect that when you're changing your composition quickly to catch new action or new scenes, the lens is showing you exactly what's in front of it. But when you actually press the shutter button, the IS performance is there and it's working to stabilize the result in your pictures. The power focus mode enables photographers and videographers to change the focus on their lens from where it currently is either forwards or backwards at preset speeds. This is really going to be useful, I think, for videographers who are trying to do uh, pull focus during their shots. To use power focus, you use the focus preset ring and just move it a little bit for the slower speed and it will transition from where you're currently focused until you release the ring. If you twist the ring a little bit further, it moves at the faster speed. One of the significant improvements of these lenses has been autofocus, and it's similar to the step in performance we've seen when you combine the lenses with a Mark, 1D Mark IV camera body, similar to what we saw with the 70-200 F2AL IS2 USM lens. These lenses also have improved optical performance. What that means is that pictures just look that bit sharper, and the resistance to flare that you could get sometimes, particularly in very bright sunshine, that's also been enhanced by the use of things like the SWC coating. One of the key improvements of these lenses has been optical performance, and that's been down to the use of two fluorite elements. The fluorite elements have contributed in terms of both sharpness, something we've seen in other lenses with the similar Mark II designation, and also it's been given us the performance in terms of reducing the size and the weight of the lenses, particularly in the case of the 400mm. Canon obviously has fluorite technology running through its veins, having introduced it way before even the introduction of the EOS camera system. And to date, Canon is the only company to commercially synthesize fluorite for use in SLR lenses. One of the contributing factors to how we've achieved the optical improvements has been down to the use of the SWC coatings, sub-wavelength structure coating. The SWC is applied to the reverse side of some elements and reduces flare and ghosting caused by reflections inside the body of the lens itself. With lenses like the 400mm, they're often used and left exposed with the camera sat on them and carried over your shoulder. 
it's very hard to find big lens caps and so often you get some marks or something on the actual front elements of the lenses. The fluorine coatings which are on these lenses, both for the front element and on the rear, means it's very, very easy to remove marks and actually stops things like raindrops gathering on the lens and interfering with the optical performance in your pictures. These lenses feature an improved switch design. The switch design improvements mean that you can't easily knock the switch accidentally. These lenses have been designed to have improved optical performance but also much better, more durable mechanical performance. Everything down to the tripod collar ring has been designed with fresh input from both service and from photographers. These lenses feature an improved build quality. That's down from everything from the tripod ring where we've made it so that it's less likely to get water into it, which in the past had caused lenses to be a bit sticky on when you move them around, through to the use of the fluorine coatings on the front and rear to stop dust and fingerprints sticking on the lenses. Even things like the IS assemblies have been made more rugged and durable. The lenses have been designed to reduce the size and weight as much as possible. In the case of the 400mm, it's almost 25% lighter than its predecessor. These savings have been achieved by incredible optical design using advanced fluorite lenses, and it's also been achieved by the use of uh, highly specialised materials through to magnesium alloy, titanium in some cases. All of these contribute to weight savings and also reducing the dimension of the lens, particularly the length. The lenses are incredibly durable to keep up with the demands that professionals place upon them these days. Professional photographers have been telling us it's important that they have their lenses secured at various locations where they work. The new lenses feature a Kensington type lock where you can secure it to a large part of the building, a structure that's not going to move. And these are really the top professional lenses. The 300mm and 400mm F2A-L IS-2 USM lenses both have a four-stop image stabilizer. To sum up, these lenses deliver optical performance. They deliver size and weight saving. And they also deliver improved autofocus. The ideal partners for Canon's 300 and 400mm lenses are the Extenders EF 2x Mark III and Extender EF 1.4x Mark III. The Extenders have been redesigned so they're much tougher in terms of the lens mount is stronger and more durable and the switch to release the Extender from the lens itself has also been made stronger. The result is when you combine them with the lenses on the camera it feels like it's just a longer lens rather than you've got two separate pieces. With extenders, to get best performance, Canon recommends that you always put the extender onto the lens and then mount the combination on the camera body. The extender's front and rear elements are fluorine coated. This makes them resistant to dust, fingerprints and raindrops.